The numbers are in. This is the Wenatchee Valley real estate market update for July 2024. You are very, very curious about the real estate marketplace. And I know this to be true because everywhere I go, I'm running into people who are kind of beating around the bush when they meet me. They're like, hey, Nick, how's it going? How's the summer? How's business? And then the business leads into what's going on in the real estate marketplace? Tell me the truth. Give me the scoop. And here's the scoop. And I'm going to interpret it for you so you know what to do based on the data. Real estate sales are up 5%. We had 82 sales compared to last year. Now, sales are up. That headline might sound like the market is doing great. Well, guess what? That's compared to last year, which was really, really bad. We barely had any sales. It was like going from, I don't know, Tacoma to Seattle or Seattle to Tacoma during rush hour traffic. There was no flow. Cars weren't moving. It was a traffic jam last year. Buyers wanted to buy, kind of, even though interest rates were high, but sellers didn't want to come off the price and they didn't want to put their homes on the market. So there was nothing going on. But it is a good thing to see sales go up. But here's something interesting. Active listings, the number of homes on the marketplace is up 50%. I'll say it again, inventory is up 50% compared to last year. That's a massive jump. That's a massive jump. Rarely do you see sales increase and inventory go up. Well, you do see that. But the reason sales are go up might be because there's just more supply. There's just more to choose from. But listings, new listings are outpacing sales, right? So what is that telling you? If inventory is outpacing sales, what's around the corner? What's around the corner? A buyer's market. And we're going to talk about that soon. The average sales price, so what your home is worth, is up 8%. Interest rates, 7%. Your home went up 8%. How is that possible? That means homes are even more unaffordable. They were unaffordable before, price times interest rate. Now they're even more affordable. So they're becoming more and more out of reach for a lot of first time home buyers, for a lot of second time home buyers, for a lot of people moving to the area, moving from areas where home prices aren't as high. The only people buying homes, not the only people, but the majority of people buying homes, they're coming from areas with higher priced homes, right? They're coming from Seattle, Bellevue, Redmond, California, parts of Oregon, parts of, parts of e the East Coast with high price points. They sell their home that they bought in the 80s, 90s, 2000s, and they're coming to Wenatchee and, and buying the homes. So of the 82 homes that were sold, I would imagine, over 50% or more were people from out of the area or someone buy, selling a home for a lot of money and paying a big down payment or cash for your home. So we understand this at our team at the Immaculate Real Estate Group and so we've designed our marketing to go after those people, right? Because people hire us to get them the most money for their home. So in order to get the most money for your home, your home's worth what someone's willing to pay. But will you actually put that home in front of that person that's willing to pay that price? See, anyone could put the home on the market, but if they expose it to this marketplace, you're going to get what someone's willing to pay in this marketplace. If you expose your home to this marketplace, you're going to find the person willing to pay this for your home. So it's really, really important to understand that, that a lot of people, homeowners are actually leaving money on the table. Their home sells, they're happy. But what they don't know is they left money on the table. So inventory is going up and sales prices going up. Really a weird thing to see. Rarely do we see that. So we see that the average list price to sell price ratio is 97%. You put your home on the market for a million, you're gonna get $970,000. You put your home on the market for $500,000, you're gonna get $485,000, right? So you come down a little bit. That doesn't mean you can add that $15,000 to your list price. So if your home's worth $500,000 and you say, well, if I have to come down $15,000, I'll just add it to the price. I'll start at $515,000. The sellers that are doing that, their homes aren't selling. The buyers are not stupid. They're not. The agents are not stupid. They're not they know your home's worth $500,000. So if you overprice it, you run the risk of 
whoa, your home is on the market. And guess what? Day 60, day 90, day 120, you gotta lower the price to 499 anyways. So thinking about pricing is really, really important, especially when inventory is going up. Because you put your home on the market for 515, that might be okay today, but in two weeks, another home comes on the market, similar location, similar home, similar everything for 499, you're dead in the water. You gotta wait for that one to sell. Right, so pricing and positioning is super important. And I'm gonna show you why in the data, which we did a video last week that we talked about to a certain extent preparing your home for the market, getting it ready and being competitive. And home homeowners, you gotta be competitive out there. You gotta you gotta be positioned to win. And because if you look at this, homes over eight hundred thousand. Oh no, no. Homes over 700,000, it's a buyer's market. Between 700 dollars and $800,000, there is 8.8 .8 months of inventory. That means it would take 8.8 .8 months to sell off all of the homes in that price range with no new homes coming on the market. But I can tell you this right now, we got, we got 50 new homes coming on the market every single day, right? In fact, we got actually over 100 homes are coming on the market every single month. 100 new homes every single month. 800 to 900, 7.4 months of inventory. 900 to a million dollar homes, 12 months of inventory. It would take one year to sell all of the homes between 900 and a million. Think about that. Not one new one coming on the market. Over a million dollars, 14 months of inventory. Not, and I'm gonna tell you, there's 28 homes over a million dollars on the marketplace. There's actually 37 homes on the market over a million dollars in Wenatchee. Think about that. 10 years ago, could you find a million dollar home in Wenatchee? No, no. The only million dollar homes were in Leavenworth and Chelan. We have 37 of them on the market right now and it would take a year and a half to sell them all. So that's competitive. It's very, very competitive. In fact, if you're a buyer looking at that, you should be like licking your chops going, whoa, I've always wanted luxury. I've always wanted high end. The, the home, the quality of home you can get right now over a million dollars just blow your mind. I mean, if I'm a custom home builder right now, I'm thinking, oh no, how do I compete? I can't build that house for a million five. No way. 6,300 square feet with a pool, with custom landscaping, with a, a, gated, a gated entry and a private driveway and a, a, and a horse barn and a shop. I mean, this is what I'm seeing out there. I'm going, whoa, you can't build it for that. So custom home builders, you know, you might really want to get, like to build your home custom versus buying established now and in the future, it's because you, you are very specific at what you want. You want to pick everything out, right? Because what you can buy right now is phenomenal, absolutely incredible. Now below 700,000, you, you get into the seller's market. That makes sense. 500 to 600, seller's market, right? They're still first time home buyers. There's still people wanting those homes because they're affordable, right? They might be 300, 400, 3,000, $4,000 mortgages, but compared to renting, there's still benefits of owning a home. So there's still a lot of demand out there. So that's the smart, that's the snapshot for July, 2024. The trends are listings are going up, higher level of competition, more selections for buyers, great news. Yeah, you got a 6% mortgage or a 7% mortgage, but good news, lots of selection, lots of selection, and prices are going up. So first time home buyers, they're being reinforced. Buy a home, it's gonna be worth more in the future. If you have any questions about what your home is worth in today's market and what you can do to be highly competitive and get more money for it, give us a call, 509-255-8070, or just do a search. Nick McLean Real Estate, click the button, call, and a real human being that's an expert, local expert in the marketplace will be there for you. Heck, it might even be me. So reach out to us today, we'll help you out.